DAF, the Debt Advice Foundation, uh, the chairman, who I know, Dennis Benton, just approached our school and said they were very keen uh, but didn't know how to make children more aware about the, the pitfalls of not handling money very well. What could we do about it? I hadn't got the answers. We had a session with some of the pupils. They went away and a week later they came back and they said to us it would be a very good idea, in our view, to produce a series of diaries which become more sophisticated according to the age they're addressing. And they should be stories that kids will identify with, not, they said, the sort of stories that people in suits tell us, because we won't listen. So we said, right, OK, you show us how it will look. They went away, and within three weeks, within no time at all, came back with a prototype first money diary, um, with all the illustrations in and the story there, we looked at it and thought straight away, this is a really good idea. The first one which you've seen, uh, I thought was an absolute masterpiece. Uh, and we're now into the fourth and we're still running. For the Money Diary, Mr Souter came and asked us if we wanted to get involved. And it involved going down to London, interviewing Mervyn King, Alex Brummer and Robert Peston and finding all the information off them. We went down with a party of them to meet Mervyn King, the Governor of the Bank of England, no less. Uh, who wanted to meet them because he'd seen the diaries and was absolutely struck by it. And the way they conducted themselves, uh, the way they went in, the way they handled it, they weren't overawed, as perhaps we were, uh, but equally they, they knew exactly how to behave. And uh, I, th I thought it was astonishing. And I, I thought sometimes we're not recognising the potential that actually is there. And then when we got back to school, we wrote it in the form of a diary. So people in high school could understand it. To get in the main economics at the end, we put in a PowerPoint what the characters had done in the book so that we could explain clearly, hopefully so that other people could understand better because we didn't get many economic terms in the first bit of the book because that was more a story. The fourth diary done where the children did about the UK debt crisis and went to London, um, I've shown that many teachers and many adults and they've all said, Crikey. Well, I didn't quite know that's why it was happened. They learned from it. 